Alright, so, I finally got myself some triad grip that have all four green sockets. Uh, the trouble with that is, I no longer have my labyrinth enchantment because that's on this pair. So, commandment of, ref of reflection, it's not really useful for anything. I just think it's really cool and fun and uh, kind of meme tier. It, well, it actually can be really, really good on some builds. Um, for instance, melee builds that might use the savior, because um, the savior makes two clones of you, and then the commandment of reflection would make a third clone. So if you're attack damage based, it's actually really good. Um, for me, it's you know it's just kind of funny, so that's why I've been running it. Um, I do have a couple in mind that are better as far as labyrinth enchantments go. So I'm going to do some labyrinth runs and look to enchant this pair here. Now, the gym setup's kind of changed quite a bit. Um, so I no longer have Ice Golem, wherever I put him. Uh, that's not the one. Ice Golem. Ice. Yeah, that's the one. So I'm no longer running Ice Golem. Um, so I've put Feeding Frenzy in my six link setup with Animate Guardian and Ball Summon Skeletons. Since I no longer have that blue socket here. But converting 100% of my minion damage to cold um, has been on my mind for a while. And so far, it feels like it's a definite improvement. However, in order to do that, you need a ton of dexterity. So I'm running uh, this careful planning Viridian Jewel to transform all of this intelligence into dexterity. So that, combined with my Adziri's foible, which... Items and gems have 25% reduced attribute requirements. So that's allowing me to level up all of my dex gems um, all the way. As you can see, I'm running quite a lot of dexterity gems. Uh, definitely worth it, as far as I know. Give a quick overlay of the uh, skill tree here. Um, so anyhow, my Cyclone setup, Cast While Channeling, uh, Cyclone, Desecrate, and Flesh Offering, in order for it to function, you only need those four. So the Fortify and the Frost Bomb, I found Frost Bomb just to be inconsistent, um, and oftentimes... It won't even hit the enemies because by the time it explodes they're already dead because the minions have killed them all anyway. And the cast speed on it's pretty slow, the detonation time is pretty slow. I don't like anything slow. Uh, so I, I already figured well it only needs to be a 5 link so I have Fortify, but let me go to my hideout real quick. I don't need the Fortify either. Because as you can see, we all have that seven-pointed star that um, Fortify gives you. And that's from my Animate Guardian. Um, so I have my Animate Guardian equipped with Kingmaker Axe. So let's see here. Kingmaker's Presence. So this is from Animate Guardian, his axe. Uh, so all nearby allies have Culling Strike. So I don't need Culling Strike on the Ice Golem either, right? Um, increased item rarity, whatever, additional critical strike, whatever, and fortify, right? So we all have culling strike and we all have fortify. 
So then I figured, well, shoot, if I don't like Frost Bomb, right, because it's too slow, and I don't need Fortify, then why in the hell am I using my six link for the uh, the Cyclone setup, right? So I put the Cyclone setup on my four link here. Um, that gave me room to start using Vol Summon Skeletons, which is kind of a meme ability, to be completely honest, but... Um, I've really made it work. I, I'm super impressed with it, and it accounts for uh, at least a couple million DPS. I actually had it written down somewhere. I was doing all the calculations. Whatever the case, it adds a couple million DPS versus bosses, so I figure what the hell, it's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, minion life, elemental army, Feeding Frenzies here now, since I don't have it in the gloves. And I have actually two Hypothermias. One for the Phantasms, and one for the Skeletons. Um, the Guardian is in this setup because I want him to be tankier, and I have Minion Life and Elemental Army, because I never ever want him to die. He's got way too much gear that I can't replace. Um, So, that frees up my gloves to be whatever the hell I want them to be, right? So I made them four green. Um, of course, I, you know, I had to get myself a backup pair, because if all goes to hell, uh, at least I still have my usual, right? So then comes the question of, well, what gems am I going to use? I need four dexterity gems now, right? So I put my raised specters, I took them out of this setup here in order to put Feeding Frenzy. Because I thought about the raised specters and I said, you know, I don't really care if they die. They're already tanky as hell just from all of my skill tree stuff, right? Um, but if they do die, I don't care. I can replace them easy enough, unlike the Guardian. They're not really there for damage. The only reason that they're there is, is to buff the other minions. They're just support minions, really. So I said, they don't need to be linked. They can go in my ring. So I took Flame Dash out of my ring, and I put the Spectres in here. Uh, put Feeding Frenzy in here. So then I thought, well, I don't have a Dash ability anymore. So what better than Dash, right? So... I'm still leveling this one up, I just had it sitting around in my stash. Um, so that took care of one socket here, so that's a green gem I can use. Of course I have the Sniper's Mark, um, so that's good. So Flame Dash is really cool because it can store up to three uses, and Dash only has one. But if I support it with Second Wind, then it gets plus one cooldown use. So let me go ahead and put these on so we can see dash. Let me go ahead and use dash real quick. Kind of see the cooldown, right? But I don't have any extra uses. So second wind gives me an additional use on that, right? So that's already much smoother. And then for the fourth green socket, I have this enhanced support, so that's going to give plus 24 quality to all active uh, skill gems. So that will give quality to Sniper's Mark and to Dash. And so when I put that in, now Dash has 40% increased cooldown recovery rate, so it's at 44% total quality, that's nice. And the Sniper's Mark is at 47% total quality, and so that's going to increase the damage that the cursed enemies take all the way up to 46. That is pretty nice. So now if we look at dash with everything set up, you'll see the cooldown is much faster, and it's got those two extra uses, or that one extra use, so I can use it two times back to back. So that's all feeling pretty smooth. Um, so that takes care of that. 
So that's the skill gym layout I've got now. Um, anyway, holy shit, it's already been 10 minutes. I'm going to go run the Eternal Labyrinth. Shouldn't take too long at all. Oh, did I? Yeah, I did. Okay. You need an offering to the goddess in order to open it, as well as the six trials completed. Okay, so... See how fast I can clear the Eternal Lab. So, I've run the Eternal Labyrinth at least a hundred times now. In these type of areas, I always just stick to the right. It seems to work out consistently. switch here somewhere. There it is. <clears throat> I don't go out of my way looking for extra loot or reliquaries or anything, but if I happen to run into one, I'll go ahead and pick it up, of course. So, I can check here. Oh, cool! Haha! <laughs> Perfect! So now I have the acceleration shrine for the entire duration of the labyrinth. Already got to the first Aspirin's trial, pretty nice. And some minions spawned in. He should pretty much die instantly. Right. Here I am talking about doing a blind speed run of uh, Eternal Labyrinth, and I get the freaking Acceleration Shrine. Gotta love it. It's honestly, like, so fast it's kind of hard to even control. Oh, I found another one? No way, dude. Give me something juicy. So that is... Wait, a potent little gift? Huh. Did I not click it? Oh, wait, what? No way, what? Wait. I've never seen this before. Did it just skip me to the second trial? Whoa, dude, I've never seen that. understand why he didn't phase sooner, because I definitely dropped him. I dropped his HP low enough to end the fight. It must be like a forced phase thing or something. Dude, no way. I have never seen that before. It just skipped me ahead. Like, okay. Oh, let's see, I should turn that off so I can see better. Okay, so I need a golden key. Annex. So any of the rooms that are called Annex are going to be dead ends. And these switches over here tell me this is definitely where the golden key is, because this is how these rooms always are. So I'm going to have to circle around. God, all these fucking doors, man. Having to stop and click open doors, it kills me inside. I just want to go fast, man.
Lever. Lever. Golden key. There we go. And so yeah, see these two levers I pointed out earlier? That's the quick way to exit the room. That's how these rooms, it's always a different layout, but it's always the same idea. Like go in a circle, go around traps, get the key, and then take the shortcut back. Now we get the golden door. Okay. So in these type of areas, I just go straight as long as I can. All right, I hit a wall, so I'll turn right. Okay, this is not the right way. Anytime there's like that many switches, it's most likely bonus loot you can get and not the way to go. So I'm just thinking this must be the way to go. So that's an annex, so it's a dead end, so I'll try the other side here. Aspirin's trial, there you go. Is this the third trial already? That's pretty cool, it gave me a portal to the second trial. I've never seen that before. I've run the labyrinth over a hundred times, I've never seen that before. Oh my god! Like, okay, I'll take it bro, thanks. Got an exalted orb even? Holy smokes. I, uh, I definitely picked the right treasure chest. Jesus, dude. Alright. This is actually really good. I already have it. I ran the Eternal Labyrinth 27 times in a row looking for this enchantment, and here it is. Let me see if I have another pair of boots I can put it on. I do like those ones. Hmm, it's actually kind of a tough choice, man. I'm gonna put it on these. That feels like the right choice. Very nice. Um, okay, well... Holy smokes, man. I think that was about six and a half minutes. My movement was terrible, though, because all those little ass doors. Uh, let me get... I'm gonna do another one, man. That was nuts, though. I got the acceleration shrine, and then I get teleported skip ahead like what oh man if only I was like better prepared so now that I know the layout I actually I, I guessed pretty good coming this way in the very beginning but each each um, different tile set I just, I have a different, like, um, I just try to be consistent, right? So, like, okay, I can make a right turn, I'm gonna make a right turn, because in these areas, I don't know, like, maybe I'm overthinking it, but I've just run them all so much that I kind of noticed a pattern, like, see, I can go right again. Okay, that's extra loot. That's definitely not where I want to go. Boom, Aspirin's Trial. See, it's every time, man. I'm telling you.
Right, so this is like that same tile set, so I'm just going to follow the same um, approach. If I can make a right turn, I just go right. Aw, oh, come on now. There we go. Nothing there. Okay. Yep, domain walkways. That's the way to go. So then in this tile set, it seems to be kind of random every time. This looks promising. See, I skipped this part last time. Okay, that's nothing. Okay, that's got to be the way to go right up here. Aspirin's Trial, there you go. See, I skipped ahead to this one last time. But, I don't know, man. I it's just got to be for how many times I've run the Labyrinth. I just know which way to go. I, I, gotta, I don't know how to fully explain it, I guess. So, the Labyrinth layout changes every day. So it's actually not too hard to grind them. Because um, once you do it a couple times, you'll memorize exactly where to go. But then, you know, tomorrow it'll be a different layout. All these goddamn little doors, man. Okay, so I can turn right right here, so I'm going to. Oh, that's the golden door. Oh, that's right. I should have remembered that. Doesn't matter though, because at the end of the day, following the right wall. You know, like the old saying, like if you're stuck in a maze, you know, like, uh, oh, what the hell? So this is different now. Oh, I need both of those switches to open it. Did the room just rotate? So it can rotate the rooms, so it'll be the same layout, but it'll just be rotated like 90 degrees or, or whatever, just to throw you off a little. Okay, that's a locked door. Yeah, this feels different than it did last time, but maybe I'm just tripping. Oh, okay, there we go. No, this is the same, isn't it? Yeah. Or at least this room's definitely the same. I feel like some of that stuff in the area over here was different, but I could just be remembering. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was, I was saying, um, you know, like, if you're trapped in a maze, you just put your hand on the right wall, and then you just... Like, you know, keep your hand on the wall and walk through it, and then that way you never, um, like, double back on yourself and get lost or whatever. I don't know, there's something, something from a long time ago, someone told me that, and it seemed to make sense. Of course, I could have just been a stupid kid, and then it stuck with me. Okay, then it was this way, right? Yep. And then this is the third one, right? Yeah. Oh nice, I got two treasure keys. Let's go. Lucky treasure chest. 
The lucky treasure chest, dude. I'm telling you, this is the one. Let's go. Let's see what we get. Commandment of Spite. Oh, I think that's the one. Is that the one? I think that's the one. I'm pretty sure Commandment of Spite is whenever you get hit, it releases this, this huge explosion of chilled ground. I'm pretty sure that's the one, man. I'm gonna do it. Of course, if you don't like this, you can always just run the labyrinth again, and then um, just pick another one and it'll just overwrite it. But I think this is the one I was looking for. I think it is. I just need to go get hit and we'll find out. I mean, I guess why not? I'll just do another one. So in tile sets like this area, I pretty much head straight, like until it dead ends. But then of course the correct path on this one was to turn right up here somewhere soon. Oh, it was back here. I don't have like a tried and true approach to the outdoor areas other than just, you know, uh, Reveal as much as you can, as fast as you can. These indoor areas like this, just follow the right wall. Oh no. Did they rotate it on me? I think they rotated it on me. Because I'm pretty sure now this is going to be like extra loot or something. Oh, maybe not. See, man, I shouldn't doubt myself. I shouldn't doubt myself. I know what the strategy is, man. Just follow the right wall. Boom, ran into a reliquary. See what I get? Okay, so I get bonus HP regen, not like I need it. If you notice, I can just run through all the traps and never die because I out health regen the damage that they do. So there is um, a correct way to do these boss fights, which when you're doing them um, at your level, it's definitely uh, worth doing them correctly. But I, you know, I just walk up and kill them, so I, I don't really need to think about it. I say your level, but I mean. No one's gonna watch this, you know? Oh, that's not the right way. If I'm not following the right wall, then it's not the right way. Ooh, until it becomes a dead end. Yep, that's the way. Yeah, but no one watches this, you know? There's like five people that watch my videos. And those are among my five favorite people. You know it. Oh shit, I forgot the way, dude. I forget this area. Well, that's a star. Gym Cutter Prison, let's go. So that's why I have the map icons, because the way I play, so much stuff dies behind me. So I like that sound and that map icon to tell me, like, hey bro, there's a gold star over here, like, don't run past it.
Yes, it is the right one. You see how that huge, like, chilled ground explosion went out when I got hit? Oh my god, dude, I'm so lucky on these labyrinths. Oh, I can dash through the frickin' doors. Okay, that's nice to know. Weird. So if I'm standing right next to it, I can't dash through the door? I, I gotta experiment real quick, because I don't actually use this ability, like, ever, so... Alright, so if I'm, like, up here, I can dash through the door. Okay. If I'm right next to the door, I can't. What? What the hell? Wait a minute. Oh, I wonder if it's... I need to be more accurate with my cursor placement. No? Alright, that is so weird. If I'm all the way up here, it goes through. If I'm right here next to the door, it face plants me into the door. What the hell is that, man? Fix your game, GGG. You need to fix your game. It's janky ass abilities, man. No matter how fast I'm going, I always feel like I'm going too slow. All these tight doorways and traps and enemies and everything slowing me down. I just want speed. I must have the speed. It's like a combo. Uh, too much hippie grass in my day. My memory is not what it used to be, I'll tell you that. Third trial, let's get it done. I guess I don't need to grind them anymore. I got everything I wanted. I do kind of want Commandment of Reflection just because it's just funny to me. Lucky treasure, let's go. Every time. I'm telling you, bro, every time. It's this treasure chest. It's that one every time. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. It is for me, anyway. I don't know about you. I mean, it's too bad it was mostly scraps and whetstones, but still, the fact that this has been a currency explosion three times in a row, this is the lucky treasure chest, man, I'm telling you. Okay. Yeah. Nothing really too, uh, too exciting here. Let's see if I've got anything. That one's already good. That one's good. That one's good. This is actually not that great. Let's see what do I have. I mean, it's not that great, but it's better than what it had. Well. Damn, 
damn, I had fun doing this one. I had a lot of fun doing this one. Um, I should make a more in-depth actual like guide for how to do the fights um, because they are not easy. They're easy if you're, you know, me at level 97 with this broken ass build that I have, but they're actually very difficult and uh, it could take several tries to actually clear the Eternal Labyrinth when you're trying to ascend. Um, I think it's level 75 to enter and uh, I would recommend being at least level 80 before you do it because it is pretty rough, man. Well, damn, I got everything I wanted. Even got myself an exalted orb. Let's go. All right, well, that's it.